Welcome to High Street Histories, our guided tour of Lowestoft's historic High Street, where we're travelling through time, looking at some of the special buildings, houses and shops in this area, past and present. I'm Dean Parkin. And I'm Ivan Bunn. And, and how far have we got down the High Street today? Uh, we're more than halfway um, down the length of the High Street. We've been, we've been travelling down, we're standing at the top of uh, Rank School, look, looking north. Possibly, or probably one of the oldest existing photographs um, of the area. Um, if you look carefully, uh, we can indicate it to you. The background there, you can see right up here where the town hall would eventually be built, uh, you can see what appears to be a small tower. That's almost certainly the cupola of the old town chamber um, that was demolished in 1859-60 to build the town hall. So this picture is possibly um, as early as um, 1859-60. So that's not long after photography was invented, no, really, is no. it? No. So yeah. And so we look it up, but you can see that um, as we look well, through the pictures, you can see how it's evolved. Just to put a context to the whole thing, um, this building here well, would become uh, Barclays Bank. Yes. Many of these properties, these low mean properties, have um, disappeared. As we shall see, if we look next to the bank, to the south of the bank, uh, two small little cottages, um, those would disappear by the time we come to the next uh, photo, which this is looking up much later. Yeah. And um, you can see here the town hall has now been built where the town chamber once was. Yeah. And you can see that the buildings on the west side um, are far bigger and more elaborate than in the earlier picture. On the left-hand side. Yeah, yeah, yeah. on the left-hand side. And here is the bank, and here, where they, I mentioned there was two rather mean small buildings, yeah. they've disappeared, and this grandiose building um, um, has been built. One big house taking up the plots of two properties, and um, this was built for one of the wealthiest um, families and last of the Youngman family who were wealthy brewers. And um, in my opinion, what we're looking at here is as Lowestoft grew in the 19th century, um, the fishing fleet got bigger, um, more and more industry came to town, more and more people came to town, the town certainly started to... Um, become much wealthier and it's reflected in the style of the buildings. So uh, the first picture was 1850s we think it yes. might be. Um, what, what, what year do you think this picture might be? I should say this is um, early 1870s. So we about. know that these properties on this side, these low properties here, were probably erected in 18. 76 with big three four story Italian style buildings, yeah. so these have all gone. Um, it's actually quite a clearer picture, yes. as well. It's it's so that's about 20 years later. You've got people on the street, they're doing that thing again of being very still. Yes, the photographer told them that if they were moving, they would all come out as blurs. And you've got the, the girls on the right there. I, I wouldn't be surprised that's not a mother oh, and okay. two daughters, oh, to be honest yes, with you. you mean, yeah. yeah, and the other thing is always interesting. We've looked at uh, other of these again. This picture is taken on a very bright, sunny morning. Yeah. Um, judging by um, Easter's to the right of the picture, yeah. judging by the strong shadows, um, the sun is well in the east, and this is quite an early morning picture, but once again, all of the shop fronts have put their awnings out to protect their goods from the strong sunshine. Here on the corner of Old Duke's Head Street, we have the, the traditional corner shop. This is a much early uh, a very early picture of it. This was 134, the high street. And they... But it sells chocolate. I wonder if that was a sweet shop. Would have yeah, probably sold a bit. Yeah. Of, might have sold. Yeah, it's advertising fries chocolates. Yeah. And um, again, we have the mandatory um, staff, presumably, yeah. standing outside Mrs. on the corner. Mrs. Soon's. Yeah. yeah. And her 
delivery boy yeah, yeah. or her son it could be yeah 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 what year do you think this is do you think this is bit, this is Victorian, this it? is pretty early i yeah, should yeah. say this is um i would think this again is 1870s yeah. possibly 1880s but the fashions are very victorian yeah they're not kind of morphing into the edwardian yeah and here we have the same premises in the 1970s. Yes. Yeah. Yep. Uh, the Colbys took over the shop from Soons in the late 1930s. Yeah. Percy and Ella Colby. Oh, right. Uh, that's her on the left. Yeah. Uh, and, and they ran the business for over 40 years. And the corner shop is still there, still thriving. And of course, even today, the shop hasn't really changed a lot. No. And um, we can see it there. I think it's a haberdashery. It sells fabric and knitting supplies. It's quite nice. It's a traditional shop still, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. yeah.